YouTube to another episode of Coins and Wealth. Today we're going to be learning how to walk the cup. So look at what you're seeing here is how I'm going to be moving my torch. The torch motion is going to look just similar like this. Zigzag going up slowly, kind of just walking the cup side to side going forward, side to side going forward. Adjust yourself. Keep adjusting yourself. Find different ways. You see how my hands just going side to side, walking the cups. Now this is what it looks like from a different angle. Notice how sometimes I stand, sometimes I sit. Just don't forget, reposition yourself. That's key. Don't be afraid to fail. It's okay. Keep trying. You got it. Now that I feel like I have my positioning ready and the motion of my torch ready to go, I'm going to go ahead and get a filler rod. I'm practicing now, and then I'm going to just start trying the technique. This is what it looks like from a couple different angles. This is how it looks like from up close. Also, if you haven't already, hit the like, smash the subscribe, hit the next the little bell notification so you can stay tuned for the next video. It's going to be a TIG welding butt joint. Focus on the way of the motion of the torch, walking the cup, feel it. I'm running 65 amps, I'm running uh, 30 PSI, my argon DC electrode negative for this one. Different view of TIG welding, walking the cup. Notice my positioning, notice how my arm goes, notice how my left arm is, notice how everything and don't forget to keep practicing, practice, practice, practice. Notice the motion, left, right, how I'm adjusting my hand. The torch is fairly new to me. I'm a stick welder, but yeah, keep trying it. And uh, here's a little clip of the next video that's gonna come up. Tick welding, butt joint. And I'm gonna have a series where I'm gonna show all the five welding joints, the five common joints. Stay tuned, Coinsy Welds.